Hello everyone. In the last video, we discussed the finding principal block if confounded effects are given. In this video, we will be discussing finding the confounded effects if one of the blocks of a confounded design is given. In the last video, we discussed that when we have to find the principal block, we have to construct a matrix I, A, A prime and minus I and the overall order of this matrix is K by K. The order of this identity matrix here is P and this here minus I is of order K minus P and the order of A and A prime are determined accordingly. Now if one have to determine the confounded effects if principal block or any other block is given then we have to actually construct a matrix I K minus P A A prime and minus I P and again the overall order of this matrix will be k minus p just the order of these two matrices are interchanged so let us see how do we do this so suppose a 3 raised to k design is confounded in 3 raised to p block and you are given one of the 3 raised to p blocks any one of the 3 raised to p blocks it might be principal block or any other block then what is the procedure to find the confounded effects First, you have to make sure that you have a principal block. So if you don't already have a principal block, that is the block you are given is not a principal block, then you have to find the principal block. And how one can find principal block that we will discuss through an example. Now after finding the principal block, you have to choose K minus P treatment combinations from the principal block such that if those treatment combinations express digitally then matrix i and a such that the matrix i and a where i is of order k minus p can be constructed so you have to make sure that the treatment combination k minus p treatment combination that you are choosing from the principal block if expressed digitally and kept one over another then the column of the matrix if arranged then we get an identity matrix of order k minus p out of those and then remaining columns will be put together to form the matrix a then in step 3 you have to find the matrix a prime and minus i p this matrix a prime and minus i of order p will give you your p independent confounded effects so as we discussed in the beginning of the video all you have to do is find an augmented matrix of order k by k with augmented matrices being i a a prime and minus i this first identity matrix here should be of order k minus p and the last identity matrix here should be of order p so actually this minus ip matrix is diagonal matrix with diagonal elements being all equal to 2 so let us discuss an example so suppose a block of confounded three level factorial design is given here you can see there are nine treatment combinations in this block so let us find the confounded effects we notice that there is no treatment combination one in this block so this is not a principal block so first we need to find the principal block so if you notice in this i have an element b in this block so if i multiply b by b square it becomes b cube and it reduces to one because if the power 3 is evaluated using modulus 3 it will become 0 so b raised to 0 will be 1 so in order to make this block a principal block all i have to do is multiply this block by b square so let us multiply b square in the given block this is our given block a square b square c b square c square d square and so on we will multiply b square in this and this is our principal block so if I multiply a square b square c with b square, it becomes a square b c. If I multiply b square c square d square b with b square, it will become b c square d. a c square multiplied, multiplied with b square gives us a b square c square. And finally b multiplied with b square gives us 1. So now we have found our principal block and in this principal block we have the treatment combinations which involve letters up to D A B C D thus we have four factors in this design so K is equal to 4 
and we know there are three ways to k minus p treatment combination in any block of confounded design and we have three square treatment combinations in our block so from this we can write that k minus p is equal to 2 we know k equal to 4 so 4 minus p is equal to 2 this implies p is equal to 2 thus our design is 3 raised to 4 comma 3 square confounded factorial design so we need to construct this augmented matrix of order 4 by 4 with augmented matrices being i2 see this 2 is actually value of k minus p and a and a prime we have to determine accordingly and this i2 here 2 is actually value of p so first actually we start by constructing this matrix i and a and since order of i is 2 so we will be requiring two treatment combinations to construct this matrix so we have to choose two treatment combinations out of these given treatment combinations such that if those treatment combinations are expressed digitally then we can extract our identity matrix of order 2 out so we choose a c d square and b c square d square after observing the treatment combination you can choose some other treatment combinations also and you will always get the same confounded effects all i'm saying is the choice of these two treatment combinations is not unique okay so now we are going to express these treatment combinations digitally to construct our matrix i a so see if a c d square expressed digitally it will be 1 0 1 2 then b c square d square is expressed digitally as 0 1 2 2 and if you notice we have got our identity matrix of order to 1001 under the columns a and b and the remaining columns will be put together to form our matrix a which is 1 2 2 2 now let us find the a prime and minus i2 matrix we already have our a matrix so here we have our a prime minus i matrix a prime is transpose of a which is again a 2 2 2 and minus i matrix is a diagonal elements with all diagonal elements being 2 and we know that this matrix a prime minus i gives us our confounded effects so our confounded effects are a b square c square and a square b square d square and our generalized confounded effects are simply if i assume this as p and this as q then pq and pq square so see a b square c square into a b d a b d i write from a square b square d square i simply square it because the exponent of first factor is 2 so by convention i don't want that so i square this and i get a b d so i multiply a b square c square with a b d and then a b square c square with square of a b d and the two other generalized confounded effects are a c d square and b c square d square so this is how one can find the confounded effects if the principal block or some other block is given to us using das method so before i end this video i would like to quickly summarize this concept of finding the confounded effect again so first make sure that you have a principal block if you don't have a principal block then find the principal block and then choose any k minus p treatment combination from the principal block and express those treatment combinations digitally the choice of these treatment combinations must be made such that it gives us an identity matrix of order k minus p if expressed digitally and placed one over another so using these k minus p treatment combinations we form our matrix i and a and then we find a prime and minus i this matrix a prime minus i gives us our p independent confounded effects and once you have the p independent confounded effects you can find the generalized confounded effects so if we put the step 2 and step 3 together you have to find this augmented matrix with augmented 
matrices being i a a prime minus i where the order of first i is k minus p and the order of the i in the bottom right corner is p 